everyone and welcome to our podcast about sustainable traveling and benefits of walking. This podcast is part of, of a series of podcasts developed by young people in the Podspot Erasmus Plus project. I am Battista and I'm from Italy and I'm, <laughs> I am here with uh, Rugile. Yes, Rugile, hi from uh, Lithuania. Okay, now uh, we can start with the questions. Uh, can you share a bit about your experiences with travel and uh, how it has influenced, influenced your perspective on sustainability? So, thank you for the question. I've been uh, quite the adventure recently, uh, jet setting from Lithuania to Singapore, then making my way down to Australia, and now landing in beautiful Constanta, Romania. As a young explorer in each new destination, I've been eager to soak in every experience and make the most of the time. But something interesting happened during my travels and I started paying more attention to the eco-friendly lifestyle perspective in each place. So it hit me when I saw the numerous air conditioning uh, systems on buildings in Singapore. It made me almost feel like a bit un uncomfortable and even ashamed reflecting on how we as a society of humans sometimes overlook the impact of our choices. Okay, okay, wow. You traveled a lot. <laughs> yes, you I traveled tried. a lot. And uh, what does sustainable travel mean to you? And uh, why do you think it's important in uh, today's world? So embarking on sustainable travel to me means opting for journey that uh, may lack some luxuries, but bring a unique kind of fulfillment, like different one. Take, I don't know, for instance, the temptation of having an air conditioning in a room when it's scorching hot outside at 35 degrees, for example. It might seem appealing for comfort, but in reality, it's a choice that carries a tinge of ignorance and selfishness. So, in my view, sustainable travel holds immense significance in today's world. It's not just about preserving our planet Earth and make it greener or uh, anything, but it's also a reminder that discomfort can be a part of meaningful experiences. Like, travel is more than a cozy bed and food in your bed. It's about learning and uh, trying to challenge ourselves during the traveling. Okay, I'm uh, I'm agree with you in the with this. And uh, what challenges do travelers face when trying to adopt more sustainable practices? And uh, how can these challenges be overcome? Uh, when it comes to being a sustainable traveler, I'm not saying that I'm hundred percent am, but there are a few challenges we face on the road, as I speak from my experience. First up, not everyone knows how our travel choices affect the environment. It's like we want to be better, but we are lacking of knowledge and uh, we have to broaden our horizons about it. Then there's the issue of not always having sustainable options, especially in certain destinations. It's tough to make eco-friendly choices when they're not readily available. But also, we cannot forget that the budget can be a real hurdle as well. Sustainable stuff sometimes costs more because of the materials they are made of and not everyone can afford to, to buy it. But uh, I think let's not forget about convenience as well. Sometimes the easiest choice isn't the most eco-friendly one, making it a bit of a hassle. So, I suggest to sustainable travelers to be to start planning ahead, to start uh, planning budget wisely, uh, shop local to support not just local shops but overall you will buy, I don't know, food cheaper, and cut down on waste, carry just uh, reusable gear, for example, um, I don't know, I don't know, reusable straws and so on. Okay, okay, thank you. And uh, the last question now. Uh, in today's fast-paced world, 
People often prioritize convenience over sustainability. How can we strike a balance and uh, make sustainable choices more convenient for travelers? Uh, in our hustle and bustle world, convenience tends to be tends to take the lead over sustainability, mostly. It's like we are all about quick and easy, but we still want to do right thing by the planet. So I suggest it's not reality. I've never seen this option before, but I suggest one stop eco shop where imagine a one stop shop for all your sustainable travel needs from eco friendly gear to green tour options. And having a central hub makes it super convenient to make responsible choices because every suggestion is just given to you. Also, we cannot forget to collaborate for a change. For example, business, governments and the travelers can collaborate together to create sustainable travel ecosystem. Uh, because we are, at the end of the day, we are all um, part of the same body. So when, it, when everyone's on board, it becomes a collective effort rather than an individual burden. Okay, thank you, Lugile, for your answers. Um, You're welcome, but I still have some uh, some questions for you. Uh, because we touched sustainable traveling uh, topic, so maybe can you share some examples of sustainable travel practices that you personally incorporate in your journeys? Sure. Uh, for me, <coughs> during this practice, it was... Uh, always uh, difficult because uh, I live uh, in a little island when, uh, where the possibilities to travel are very mm -hmm. difficult and uh, I'm, forced to, uh, I'm forced to travel with plane for the majority of the times uh, but uh, I also travel it by ship sometimes but uh, for some reasons uh, I ignored this way of travel for the requested time but um, I want to say that uh, we can change this trend also during the journey because uh, we can spend our vacation days using public bus, ba bike uh, and walking. Like this, uh, we can help the, the world with uh, these little things and we can enjoy our vacation better than ever. So how can individuals uh, inspire others? to do the trend that you were talking about, like walking and travel sustainably? Okay, uh, I, think, I think that uh, every single person can change uh, the mindset of, of people around him. Mm -hmm. around him. Uh, also just publishing uh, his uh, adventures, like a uh, uh, photo of landscape, falls, seas, uh, and uh, every characteristic uh, place because uh, unconsciously people start to want to do those experiences and um, I think that um, every one of us can do the difference also with uh, the other people around, our, around of us. Mm -hmm. So you are planning to do a lot of uh, traveling, yes? Yes, uh, my, my wish list mm -hmm. about uh, travel uh, is uh, continuing uh, evolution because uh, every day uh, I see new interesting uh, itinerary on social media that uh, I would uh, like to to live. Mm -hmm. And uh, but uh, for sure I will travel to Santiago de Compostela for completing uh, the way of Saint James. And uh, I think that uh, it will be a great experience of sust sustainable travel because uh, you have to work for about uh, 300, 300 kilometers by, by feet. Uh -huh. That's a great example, actually. I will think about this as well. And if you could leave for listeners with one piece of advice about incorporating sustainability in your travels, so what would you suggest? What would you, what would it be? I would like to share with the, the listeners some advices about the, the sustainable travel. Um, because I'm conscious about the many difficulties about the sustainable travel, but uh, we can do the difference. Uh, because uh, not only the way of travel, not, but uh, we can 
we can make the difference during the during the the, the journey. We can choose to live uh, without uh, waste, mm -hmm. and uh, we need to to respect uh, the the places and uh, uh, choosing sustainable travel. And it's a uh, and if it's possible, we. We can also try to share these journeys and, and thoughts with uh, our friends and uh, our family for... Uh, so you suggest to include more social media management into the social media, basically. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so thank you for answering my questions and listening to me. And please follow the podcast project and listen to all the podcasts developed in this series.